All right, this uh, video kind of completes this uh, this series on multiplying and dividing um, monomials. Uh, here we're going to to do the most complicated ones that we'll do in Math Nine, and that is when we divide polynomials by monomials. Okay, um, there's a basically a pretty uh, pretty simple rule that we can use uh, to do this, um, and when we do that, it, it doesn't need to be that uh, challenging at all. Okay, so uh, basically, step one, we are going to divide each term in the polynomial individually by the monomial. So here we're dividing polynomials by monomials, which means that the um, numerator, the top number, is always going to be a polynomial. So basically, we just split that polynomial up, each of its individual terms, terms, and divide each of them individually by the monomial numerator. Okay, and then uh, we'll combine those answers using the um, addition or subtraction operations that are already written right there in the term. Okay, so we'll do a few examples and you'll see what we mean. Okay, so first example, 3x squared plus 6, all divided by 3x. Okay, so step 1 says we're going to divide each one, each term. So 3x squared is a term, 6x is a term. We're going to divide each of them separately by the 3x. So 3x squared divided by 3x. Okay, and the other one is going to be 6x divided by 3x. Okay, step 2 says we're going to add or subtract according to the operation that's already given there. So I look at right here, there's an addition sign. Okay, so the answer uh, is going to be added together. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, do each of those. 3x squared divided by 3x. Well, the 3's cancel out, and then we've got x squared divided by x. Remember, our exponent rules say that we're going to subtract those exponents, so 2 minus 1 is just 1, so it's x will be the first one. Then now I've got an add plus um, 6x divided by 3x. The x's cancel out. 6 divided by 3 is 2. The answer is going to be x plus 2. Okay, not, not too bad. Let's do another example here. Okay, so again, we are going to write it each one separately, so sorry, 8x squared is one term, 2x is the other, negative 2x is the other, and uh, we're going to divide each of those by that um, denominator of 2x. Okay, so 2x divided by 2x, and we look here for our operation is a minus. Okay, so we've got 8 divided by 2 is 4 x squared divided by x is x minus 2x divided by 2x. Everything cancels out to be 1. 4x minus 1. Okay, let's, uh, let's see where there might be an application for this. Okay, so we've got an example of word problem here. A rectangular wall has a circular window. Okay, so let's just draw this out. Nice rectangular wall, circular window in there. Okay, the area of the wall can be represented by 32x squared plus 16. The length of the wall is 8x. Okay, uh, the length of the circular window has a measurement that is half the width of the wall. What's the radius of the window written as an expression in terms of x? Okay, so a few things were given. The area is equal to 32x squared plus 16x. And we're also given that the length is 8x. Okay. We are asked to find um, a radius okay, that has a relation to the width. So we're going to be looking for the width, and then once we have that, we're going to use that to help us be able to, um, to figure out uh, what that radius is. Okay, so remember that the area of a rectangle is length times width which means that if we're going to find the width, the width would be equal to the area divided by the length. Right? We could switch that around. And we'll show that um, show that a little bit more clear. Oh, sorry. Um, show that a little bit more clearly here. If we want to get width on its own, right now width is being multiplied by length. So we're going to divide by length. If we do that on one side, we've got to do that on the other. The lengths cancel out, so we are left with width is equal to area 
divided by length. Okay, so we're given what the area is. The area was 32x squared plus 16x. And we're given what the length was, 8x. So let's solve for what the width is going to be. Okay, so this is a division of a polynomial by a monomial. So we do each one separate. 32x squared divided by 8x. And that's going to be plus 16x divided by 8x. So 32 divided by 8 is 4. x squared divided by x is x. Plus 16 divided by 8 is 2 x divided by x cancels out. So the width is going to be 4x plus 2. Now, let's see 4x plus 2. Let's see what other clues like to run. Okay, so let's figure out what that is. 4x plus 2 divided by 2. Divided by 2, again, that's a division statement. So 4x divided by 2 plus 2 divided by 2 4 x divided by 2 is going to be 4 divided by 2 is 2 and x plus 1 okay so diameter is 2x plus 1 and let's go back to where we're at the question ultimately we're trying to find is the radius of the window and the radius of the window is half of the diameter okay we're running out of room here. So if diameter was 2x plus 1, the radius is half of that, which means that the radius is going to be 2x plus 1 divided by 2, or half of 2x plus 1. So one more division. 2x divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2. The 2's cancel. x plus half is going to be our final answer. Yeah, that was a really good question and allowed us to use lots of these uh, division ones. I yeah, hope you followed along with that. Uh, that's going to be probably one of the more complicated word problems you'll see. If you're able to follow along, I think you'll do quite well with this. Okay, that's uh, dividing polynomials by monomials. Hope that helps.